Whoa, what are you doing in my house? Oh, you must be here for the cooking tutorial. So today we're gonna to be making one of my personal favorite recipes. It is a white quinoa stir fry. So the ingredients are super simple. I just use stuff that I already had in my refrigerator. So today we're gonna to be using some white quinoa, baby carrot, um, zucchini squash, bell pepper, olive oil, egg, and a couple other spices that I already had. Absolutely all of the ingredients that you see in this video were bought in at Trader Joe's. So if you see anything that I'm cooking with, it's Trader Joe's. So for the sake of saving time, the first thing we want to do is to wash our cup of quinoa in a mesh strainer. So after you wash the quinoa, you want to make sure to put your quinoa in a small saucepan with a cup and a half of water and let that soak for approximately 10 minutes. And while our rice is soaking, I think this would be an excellent time to wash and cut our vegetables too. The carrots will generally take a tad bit longer to cook, so I would start by chopping and cooking those first. Our rice is now ready to start cooking. So all we're going to do is first thing, we're going to turn the burner on to high. We're just gonna wait for this guy to boil. Once the quinoa starts to boil, you're gonna wanna transfer the heat over to low and cover. Next thing you need is one tablespoon of olive oil. Then turn your heat up to about medium high, maybe a little towards the high side. While this is warming up, we are going to season our veggie. To make it a tad easier on yourself, you can take a teaspoon to half teaspoon of your favorite herbs and spices to add to your vegetable blend. This is generally what I like to cook with, along with some various other herbs, but for this recipe, we'll just stick to these guys. For the cayenne pepper, you definitely don't need a half spoon or teaspoon of this. So you could just add a little dash, maybe a little bit more if you like some heat. 
After your 15 minute timer goes off, you're going to want to take your stovetop, turn it off, and allow this to sit for 10 more minutes in order to ensure that the quinoa gets fully cooked through. Wok gets heated. Place some carrots in there. Let those cook for approximately two to three minutes so it can soften them up a bit, and then we'll start adding the other vegetables. Next thing you will add is your bell pepper. And you'll let that cook for about one to two more minutes. Make sure to continuously turn your vegetables in order to prevent burning. I like mine a little bit darker, a little burnt, kind of sicko, but whatever your preference is. When those are finished cooking, next you're going to add your zucchini. This one you want to be a little bit careful for because these will cook really fast, so you want to make sure they get a nice coating of oil on them and make sure that they are not burning on either side. So continuously flip as you cook. Now that we see that our squash is finally cooking, you can see from these darker spots around here, that's how they're getting cooked all the way through. You can come, take a cup or a cup and a half, however much you're comfortable with, of your quinoa, and dump it in there. You can stir this around. Sometimes I will add a little bit of sriracha, but for the sake of the recipe, I will not add it this time but it is an option, adds a good amount of flavor. So this will crisp up the rice and you want to leave a little hole in the middle just like that. Last thing we want to do, take some of our eggs and crack them into there. From here, you can mix the egg around worry about. If it's not getting cooked, it's at a very high temperature, this egg will cook very fast. I like to personally do two eggs. Make that guy in there. Mm, just like mama used to make it. Mmm, add a little avocado and you are all ready to go. Thanks for watching my cooking tutorial.